Russ, that was a completely different one-all draw to the one that we saw on Saturday, wasn't it? Yeah, I thought it was an outstanding performance. I'm, uh, I'm frustrated and disappointed for the players that we haven't won the game. I thought we deserved to win, um, to, to, to dominate the way we did against a team at the top end of the league um, with the quality they have is really pleasing. I'm disappointed as well because the goals are foul. The players admitted that himself to our players. He was really surprised if it wasn't blown up. He, that's why he didn't celebrate straight away. He thought it was a pretty obvious one, as we all did. Um, but I'm really pleased with the, the players' character, their belief in what we were doing, um, the the energy, the, the intensity they played at tonight was, was outstanding. And we knew it was going to require that because it's a team who are very intense in the way they work. Um, so I'm really, I'm really pleased. I thought it was an outstanding team performance. I'm disappointed we didn't win. And um, I can see the things, you know, we, 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 we need to work on to, get us, to take us to that next level. Because we, we've drawn too many games, but there's been a lot of performances that felt similar to that. But that one's right up there. I'm really proud of the players for that. So um, towards the end, they got really tired. The whole second half was pretty much played in their half. They couldn't get out. Um, showed composure, intensity behind the ball to keep regaining and going again. Um, and it was just that last little bit, Toby, that last little bit of composure, of quality when you really need it. Um, and we had a little bit too much anxiety. Um, maybe not anxiety, just we were so desperate to go and score. It was just that last little bit wasn't quite um, as composed as the rest of it. So we need to work on that for sure. Um, but I'm really, really pleased with the players and the performance. And as always, whenever there's... Uh, an issue or two like there was in the first half at Burton on Saturday and they get questioned, I get questioned, we get questioned, you know, um, they respond brilliantly, they respond brilliantly. So um, I'm really pleased with them. I'm really, they need to take a lot of belief from that performance and we need to build on it and, and continue because we need to turn more of these draws into wins. And I said to you, we're becoming very hard to beat first and foremost. I think it's two in 10 games or something in the league. Um, and the season would have a very different feel if we turned a couple of them draws into wins, which we should have. Um, so that's the, that's the next step, and there'll be a tipping point where we do do that. Uh, I'm convinced of it. So we have to we have to stay consistent with the process. We have to make sure we don't get carried away with the performance because it's only it's only a point. Um, but I'm really proud of the players the way they played tonight. And there weren't many negatives. I will I will mention just just one though. It was that conceding first, and as you mentioned, it's it's costing you so much at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. We, they had one shot on target, I think. They scored. So, um, there's the games that we've limited teams to no shots on target, we've won. Um, but what I would say is it's the first time they've got properly near our goal. We don't do well enough. To, we've, we leave Keezy one and one with, with the player who's on good form. Um, and we spoke about trying not to leave him one and one at any point, but it happened. So, that's disappointing. But it is a foul. So, the player admitted that. You know, you can see his reaction. He didn't celebrate because of that, uh, and our players are very, very frustrated by that. And by the way, it would have been really easy for them to lose their call, cool, to play with no composure after that, to feel, to have a victim mentality. But they didn't. They got on with it. I thought they were fantastic. They stayed really focused, put all their energy into doing what we needed to do on the pitch. Um, and um, in the end, we haven't quite got what we deserved. We got a point, and we probably deserved all three. It was a stark contrast, wasn't it? The reaction to, first of all, the goal and, and, and also a few choice refereeing decisions that we'll, that we'll go on to talk about in a minute. But, you know, from Saturday, there was that drop off after the goal. And yet tonight, it was it, it felt like a little bit of a speed bump, but nothing more than that. Yeah, even on Saturday, you know, it was because it was early again, the anxiety built. Um, but after 25 minutes, they got we got ourselves together, we got our act together, and we were the, the better team by a mile until we scored. And then we had, again we gave them a, a, a two chances after that, which we shouldn't have. Um, but it was a feeling. It was yeah, it wasn't it wasn't nice, and we spoke about it. And as as I always say, we 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 try and learn. It's that's, that's the process. We analyse, we learn, and we practice, and we go and perform. So um, they they we've done that since Saturday. We we always try we, whether we win, lose, or draw. Whether the feeling we have at the end of the game is really positive, whether it's a little bit mixed or it's one of real disappointment and frustration, as it was on Saturday, we try and uh, be really objective with it and make sure that it doesn't affect the planning for the next game, and it hasn't. So, and they've carried it out brilliantly today. And um, when they scored, I wasn't worried today. I was on Saturday because it felt different. Today, I wasn't. Um, it was frustrating, of course, but the players looked so motivated, so hungry, so intense, and that was a big difference. And when we play like that, we are a match for, for anyone in the league. 
Um, and when we play like that, that's why I have so much belief in, in the players we have and what we're doing, because we, there'll be a tipping point and we'll start winning more than we draw and more than we lose, for sure. Second half was just completely in, in, in your control, wasn't it? And I think everybody inside the ground felt that that goal was, was almost inevitable. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think um, we were well on top. You're hoping to get that goal a little bit earlier. Um, so you can really put them under pressure, but the whole game was played. The whole second half was played in their in their half, and that's because the guys behind the ball, not just watching the game and enjoying players like Scott Fraser doing what they're doing. They're, they're setting up. They're being organised. They're being intense. They're making sure we're ready for the for anything that comes their way, so we can go back again and attack. And and um, that's why I'm a little bit disappointed um, for them that we didn't make more of those situations because, as you said, we completely dominated the second half and. Um, I don't think anyone could, could disagree with that. So many players in your team stood out tonight. Kasumu, I thought, was fantastic. Scott Fraser was doing Scott Fraser things. And I think um, Cameron Jerome, Carl Morris, both, you know, they, they didn't get an awful lot of chances, but, but their work rate was just remarkable. Yeah, I think uh, I think to a man, there, were, there wasn't a bad performance. I think um, the players were talking about They've been outstanding consistently for us. Um, Scotty's, I'm sure we'll be selling a lot of Scott Fraser shirts. Now the fans are back inside and they can feel it as well. He's a fantastic performer. David is, um, I'm really, I'm, I'm proud of all of them. I'm really proud of David because he's, he's come a very long way in a short space of time. And there's a big responsibility with the role he plays on the pitch and he carries it out fantastically well. Um, and we only took him off because he was on a booking and he looked a little bit more tentative than, and we don't want to lose him. And, and the game dictated that we didn't require him as much at that point. So he's still got a lot of growth to have, a lot of developing, a lot of things to improve on, but he's so willing to do it. Um, so it's great. And the top two, they're, they're such a pain for any team. You know, they're such a, they have such presence, they have such character. Um, they're real leaders. They give us real energy. Uh, and Cammy probably didn't have his best game tonight on, on the ball. Out of position, fantastic. He occupies defenders, the way he moves. Um, he didn't get as much of it as he usually does, and he's probably a bit frustrated at times. But um, when the when that chance goes to him, the way he makes the run for the goal and, and puts his body open so he's facing the goal is outstanding. Um, people will take that for granted, but that's why he's played at you know the high level for so long. And then the finish as soon as he goes through, you really back him, you know the way. And he missed a couple on Saturday. So we, you know we t talk about how frustrated we were on Saturday, but in, in the first half we had the two best chances, and it fell to him in the middle of the goal both times, um, and he was frustrated with that. So. He more than made up for that tonight, and he's been brilliant since he came in. I'm really, really pleased with Cammy. He's been fantastic. So, but I think you're right. I don't want to single anyone out. I know you mentioned those players. I thought they were, the guys were, you know, they were brilliant. I'm really pleased with them. You back him every time he goes through, don't you, Cameron Jerome at the moment, and he's probably the most clinical finisher Don's have had in a long, long time. Yeah, he's. he's um, I said it when he was signed. You know, people said he's not a natural goal scorer. Um, he's. But it's because of the level he's played at, he's, and he's played up front on his own a lot <laughs> during his career, uh, and he'd probably been underappreciated or undervalued at times because of that. But um, we know what he can bring, and he's he's desperate to prove people wrong. He's desperate to prove that he's still got it, and he's hungry, and he's doing that. And um, that's all I can ask. And uh, he's uh, he's been really big for us since he came in, and hopefully that will continue. Um, Mr. Rock, the referee, he um, I think pretty sure he booked everybody on your bench apart from you. There was some. Uh... Some interesting decisions from for for both sides to really get get upset about. I thought. Yeah, you know, I think he books people on their bench as well. I, I, it was. Um, yeah, I don't want to get I don't want to get drawn into that too much. I tried to stay out of it. It's frustrating at times. I promised myself I wouldn't do that when I became manager. But sometimes it's really difficult. Um, but my, for me tonight, the focus I said to my focus was on the team, making sure they stayed focused, making sure we stayed relaxed and and, and uh, really concentrate on what we needed to do. Um, Dino's booking was really strange, really, really strange. I don't, he was getting called all sorts by the opposite bench and Dino was the one that got booked So um, for asking if it was a foul. But it is what it is. We really care. We, we conduct ourselves, I feel, in a, in a way that befits the club. I think we don't, we don't lose integrity at any point. We get frustrated, of course, but... Um, it really wasn't that serious. I don't, know, you know, the bookings are are what they are, and um, it's because people care. And, and it wasn't really that bad, if I'm honest. So uh, it is what it is. I love my, uh, 
I love the staff that I work with. I love these guys, my colleagues, and um, I'll back them all the way. And uh, you know, if they keep showing that passion and desire, then <laughs> fine with me. And hopefully, you know, they're the ones that have got paid a fine at the end of the day. So uh, I'm sure they won't do it too much. Well, if it's like the players and they amount five bookings and they get a, 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 another game in suspension, then you know. Yeah, I can't speak too much. I think I've had one already this season. Maybe two. I don't know, but it is what it is. Passions get. You know, passions get high, and uh, when there's so much on it, and you care so much about what you have and protecting it, it's it's difficult. But um, yeah, I think you know it is what it is, and uh, I think we've walked away fairly fairly okay. Um, I know you don't like looking at the league table, but fifteenth certainly makes a, for a lot nicer reading now, doesn't it? Yeah, it's really tight, Toby. It's um, I honestly don't look at it too much. I had to ask the guys where we were there because they were talking about it. But obviously, there's. I do look at it, but not all the time, and I don't obsess about it because I obsess about what we're doing and the work we need to do and how we're going to improve. Um, yeah, I'm sure some people will reassure them, but I've said to you all the way along, I don't believe we'll finish anywhere near where we started tonight, which is 17th or 18th, whatever it was, um, because of how hard we work and what we do, and we have to justify that. And uh, with performances like that, we certainly will. Um, and we have to turn some of these draws into wins. And if we do, you know, win and, and, and win again back to back wins make a big difference in this league it's so tight it's so tight and it, it's a different it's a really different season because of what's gone on so it's taken it's taken a little bit longer to take shape I feel this season um, but I think we're in, a, we're in a good we all want to be higher up in the league we all feel that we've put in performances that warrant us to be higher in the league um, but we're, we're in a good place in terms of we know what we need to work on we know what we need to try and bring to the players to help them out in January um, and we know, we've got real clarity in what we're doing and and with that clarity we've got a lot of people who really believe in it as well so uh, we're going to need everyone at some point to keep doing what they're doing keep working hard improving and the league position will do exactly the same and finally from me uh, the fans I think tonight saw what MK Dons were about and you know you could you could feel them were, were really getting vocal in that second half, really, really really giving your team the support they needed. Yeah, I've said all the way along, I want to give them a team to be proud of. I want to give them a team they enjoy watching. Um, and I've said all the way along, it's quite different when you're watching it inside the stadium than being outside. And I think they would have felt that tonight. I thought they were great. I thought they gave the players energy. They maintained the players' energy. They were brilliant, especially in the last half an hour. Um, so it's great to have them back. And, you know, they're the most important part of any football club. And our job is to make them happy. Um, I think what we've given them is a team of a real identity, a team that they can enjoy knowing they'll get a certain amount of um, hard work, intensity, all the stuff that should be you know, the, the fundamentals of, of any team or of any good team. Um, and the rest is hopefully stuff they'll enjoy. You know, the dominance, we need to score more goals. Um, but I believe that will come. We'll keep working on that. But we've just got to keep working hard to make sure that we give them a team that they really enjoy watching and are proud of and hopefully tonight that will do will go some of the way to helping them feel those things um, so I'm really yeah really grateful for their I've said it all the way along and I mean it really grateful for their support and patience all the way along I, f I really feel like they get it what we're trying to do and they enjoy it and eventually we'll you know we'll keep growing for them and um, if, we're, if they continue that faith and patience with us I think it'll all it'll, we'll repay that we'll repay that for sure thank you Russ no problems Russ, obviously there's um, history between you and Peterborough from your playing days. Um, does that add anything to these sorts of games or do you um, just take it? For the... um, well, I've come up against two former managers now, so that's, it's, it's, uh, it feels certainly um, different to, to a normal game. But no, I've got, uh, it doesn't add anything really. I've got nothing but respect for Darren. I said before the game, I loved working for him and playing under him. We had a really successful year together. Um, he made me his captain at a really young age. I'm still really grateful for that. He gave me a lot of confidence early on. He showed a lot of belief in me. Um, and I signed there because of him. You know, I had a lot of options at that time. And I signed there because I bought into what he was, he was doing then. Um, and he's been at this level for a long time and the level above as a manager because he's good. He's, he's really good at what he does. So, um, yeah, it, it didn't add any extra. You know, I'm not, it didn't mean I was more desperate to win. I want to win every game. Um, but I, I hope, you know, he... He, um, he, uh, he, he respects what we're doing as well and I hope he, you know, I'm sure he didn't enjoy it at the time, but I hope he, um, 
he's been good for me. I've, I've made a few phone calls to him when I've needed to and spoke to him along the way. And uh, he's there if I need to do that, which is great because he's experienced. Um, we haven't spoken before this game, um, but I'll speak to him after. And, and you know, I think we have a, a real strong mutual respect. Um, but for 90 minutes, you're desperate to beat each other. So that won't change. And I've got, I had a really good time there at that club. And, there, you know, still a lot of people work there that I spent some time with. And, um, yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed it there. So, um, but yeah, it was, it, I just thought it was a really good game tonight. Really good game, both sides. And uh, I know you like, don't like singling out players, but one player that's, uh, to me, seems to really be growing into his own at the moment is uh, Lass Sorensen. Yeah, another really solid performance from him tonight. Yeah, I'm really pleased with Lass. He started to really enjoy himself, to relax, to, to be himself. Um, I think he's grown, you know, after Shrewsbury, he's got better and better every game and he's, he's starting to play with a bit more freedom within our structure. And I thought he was great tonight. He gives us real energy. He gives us real energy, Lass. And I said to him it would be nice if he headed the ball with his eyes open in the first half because that was a big chance early on. Um, but uh, he, he said, yeah, he needs to work on his heading. So he's, he's really... He's um, he's growing. You're right. He is getting better all the time, and hopefully that will continue. And um, he can keep putting in performances like he did tonight. Cheers. No problems. Is this one of those games where the stop-start nature and the reaction to referees is as much an important part of getting your result out of it? Um, I don't know what you mean, Charles. Sorry. This, did it affect the result, or did it? Is it as much a case of trying to go through those as extra challenges in order to impose your style onto proceedings? Oh yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, it doesn't make That's it good. any easier. I think we're playing at real speed and pace, and obviously it stopped a few times. Um, then it's hard to keep. But I thought in the second half the momentum was with us, the speed was with us. We gave a couple of silly free kicks away, which allowed them to regroup a little bit, um, but it didn't affect things too much. Um, and I was trying to make sure we stay focused on the job at hand and the task at hand whilst some of it was going on. And the boys' concentration, intensity, mentally and physically was outstanding tonight. So I don't think it affected too much. As I said, I'm, I'm really pleased with the performance. Uh, in recent weeks, Warren, Keogh and Lewington have been the stable back three as a combination. What would you, would you say they add to the proceedings that has justified the regular selection? Um, I think... They are growing in understanding of each other, their relationship. We have a big, we put a big responsibility on those three guys, especially in the build-up when we're playing. They do that fantastically well. They take big responsibility. They are. We've been working a lot on on them as a unit, watching video on the training pitch, and they are getting better and better all the time. Um, obviously, they had a lot of experience because of uh, Dino and, and Kesey, a lot of organisation, which allows us to spend a lot of the time in the other. Uh, teams half um, and then you have Warren who is um, on a first loan very young um, had a tricky start and I think he has been exceptional I'm really pleased with him his mentality is great his attitude is brilliant and some of his performances recently have been top top draw he's been really high level of performance and consistent with it so he needs to continue that and, he, and, he, and I'm sure he will because he wants to learn he wants to get better he's very self very self critical he analyses his performances a lot um, and having them two next to him will be will be really important for him. And they want to, you know, they want to stop the goals we're conceding. Of course, we all do. But um, to limit a team near the top of the league to one shot on target, most of the time will mean we end up with a positive result. Unfortunately, they scored from it tonight. Um, but yeah, I think on the whole, on the whole, they're getting better and better, and um, need to continue to work together to improve.